He would take me on his house calls. And one of the things that moved me very deeply was he took care of a lot of poor people. After he closed the door at night, after our calls at 5.30, then we would go walk around or drive around to patients' houses. People who were very sick had no money. People were paralyzed. I remember a woman we used to see three times a week. And he'd take care of her, he'd adjust her, and she depended on that. That was, and she didn't pay him anything. He was committed to serving those people who um, needed his care, whether they could pay or not. I've heard stories about him bartering for his services, and I've heard stories about him delivering his services in houses with house calls and never ever charging people if they couldn't afford to pay. It was his personality. It was his God-given whatever that is. You know, it's, it's hard to put into words. John Bastier's legacy uh, is within every part of our community. And uh, we certainly think about him on a regular basis down here at our teaching clinic in Wallingford. And one of the big factors is trying to make our care accessible to as many different people as possible. And that helps both our students uh, see a wide variety of patients from all different walks of life. And it also provides care options for people that might not otherwise be able to get it. Generally, on any given day, up to a third of the patients that we see might be participating in some form of uncompensated care. Today would have been John Bastier's 100th birthday. A tremendously gifted yet modest man, Dr. Bastier was initially opposed to being chosen as the university's namesake. He didn't want the school to be named after him, but I think he would be thrilled because I think he really um, felt that this type of medicine is really helpful and important. Many that knew him say he wouldn't have been comfortable at this centennial celebration either. This was a very humble man. If he knew what we were doing today, he would not agree with this. He would, he would just say, now cut that out. You know, that's just silliness. He'll have to forgive us for this one slight bit of silliness as we honor his lasting, noble legacy. I think he leaves a, 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 a huge legacy that hopefully we're committed to continuing, which I think we are, which is to find a way to provide services to people from all walks of life, regardless of their ability to pay. Dr. Bastier had a commitment to not only training students to become naturopathic physicians, but also commitment to making sure that those physicians then provided care to people that needed it. And Bastier continues that commitment and that mission. The realities of that are that we need the community support. We provide the students, we provide the care, the patients are there, the infrastructure is there, but we need the financial support to keep that mission and that commitment and that vision going. Now the other thing I remember about Dr. Bastier is his hands. And there is a photograph, I have it framed actually in my office, of his hands like this. And um, there's just something energetically about looking at his hands that just makes me stop and smile and remember him for the gentle man that he was and for those hands that took care of so many people so well. So it's, it's a beautiful picture.